Hello, my friends. I thought I would take a couple of minutes to answer a burning question that some of you have about my van and how I prepare my meals and where I cook and what I use for cooking. And I just want to say right now that I ain't got time for that. Literally, I don't cook in my van. I have absolutely nothing to make a hot meal with. Well, except for my hot logic, and that's it. I literally do not have a stove, a jet boil, anything. I do have a tiny little toaster oven that I use sometimes and make myself a bagel or some hot toast and a grilled cheese once in a while. And sometimes I warm up a piece of pizza, but for the most part, I'm kind of a cold foods kind of gal. I am very much a snacker. My metabolism and I have a long history of little tiny meals all through the day. So uh, for me, uh, my morning breakfast is usually fruit and yogurt or granola. Uh, lunchtime, usually a sandwich with some kind of lunch meat and cheese. Mm, maybe a tortilla wrap or something or a salad. Um, there's always usually a deli somewhere with a chicken strip with my name on it that I can chop up into little pieces and throw into a bag of salad and shake it all up and eat it right out of the bag. So for a lot of you, that might seem weird. I do have hot meals. Uh, when I'm traveling and I'm in my van full time, I tend to have my minimalistic morning breakfast and my lunch and then I have little snacks in between and then I am the kind of traveler where I don't actually stay in one place for very long and I spend very little amount of time actually in my van. When I go somewhere, I vroom to where I want to go, I get out of my van, and I go explore the crap out of the place. And then, when it gets dark, I go back to my van. And then I drive around or I walk somewhere and get myself a nice warm meal at a little mom and pop shop or some kind of restaurant that is local to the place so that I can try some of their um, their food in that area. And um, yeah, I let other people cook for me because, <laughs> you know, I'm almost 50 and I've spent a lot of time over the last few years cooking for a lot of other people. So I have no qualms and no uh, reservations about sitting down and letting somebody else do the dishes and make the food and I just eat it and then I pay them and I thank them and I support their small business and then I go back to my van and I drive to where I want to go sleep and then I get in my van and I sleep and I wake up in the morning and I think I'm hungry so I'm going to eat a banana. That's it. I have no mess, no fuss. I eat healthy. I um, eat lots of fruits and vegetables. I eat sandwiches. I don't eat a lot of processed stuff. And when I do go out and I treat myself to something at a restaurant, it's healthy. Um, I don't eat fast food very often unless there's absolutely nothing in town other than that. Uh, yeah. I know. Weird, huh? I don't have any need, really. Um, I think if I were doing van life where I'm driving somewhere and then I'm camping for a few days. That's different and I would probably maybe grill something on a fire pit. Sometimes if I do feel like cooking when I'm out doing van life, I will uh, find a park with a grill and make myself something there. I will sometimes uh, treat myself to a hip camp or an Airbnb where there's uh, a kitchen sort of place available. But for the most part, I tend to just support local businesses and um, feed myself that way. Ha! I know there's a lot of people who start building out your vans and are watching all these YouTube videos about all these adorable little minivans that have 
full-blown kitchens and people are cooking and making all this stuff and it's okay if you aren't that kind of person if you don't cook normally in your house for yourself and you're kind of a grazer like me then going through all the effort and taking up that space in your van when you know that you're not really going to be using it for cooking is kind of a waste of space so i prefer to use my space to store all the stuff that I take with me when I go exploring, like my camera gear and my other boots and things like that. Because when I'm out in my van doing van life, I am out there to spend as much time out of my van as possible. I want to go see everything and experience everything and the last place I want to be is sitting inside my van. Yeah, so if you are building out your van and you're planning it all out and you're trying to figure out where you're going to put your kitchen stuff, just think about whether you actually think you're going to use it. Because when I first started building out my van, I did order a stove and I did order a hot plate and I did buy myself a jet boil and I carted it around for an entire summer and I used it once. So, um, I learned that I eat the same way in my van as I do at home. Um, and for me, if I do go out, I never actually eat all of the food that I get because my tummy is so tiny and I eat like a little bird and I um, save the leftovers. And then the next day I can drive around on my way to my next location, and if I want a hot lunch, I throw the leftovers in my hot logic, and it warms it up while I drive. And then when I get there, I have my lunch, or my dinner, and it's amazing! And so then no food goes to waste. And I have a meal two days in a row. Sometimes if I get Thai food, that can be like three or four meals because I eat tiny little portions, and then I have all this food left over, and it's amazing! Ha! <laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah, that's it. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I don't have a kitchen. And I'm okay with that. I know that's probably weird for some people. But hey. I never said I wasn't. Hope that answers your question. Hi. Okay, so. Yeah. yeah you know what time it is. It's time to dance. Stay weird, friends.